Welcome back to R for Economics. Now we're going to be talking about how we can put functions inside of functions. So these will all be base functions of the of uh, R. So we'll just see what we have. So here we have a file in our data sets. If I look at the files, I can see this a comma separated uh, file. And if I wanted to inspect the element, I think I can open it up and you'll see that it's, uh, I think there's a way to actually open this. Yeah, view file. So we can see that it's comma separated, but these numbers have commas in between. So we'll need to get rid of those in some way. So when we bring it in, it'll say this is a comma, so it'll think it's a character string. So we need to deal with that. So how can we deal with that? Well, we're gonna bring in our data set. So we need F name. And we need to give it, we're gonna give it a, a name Y, okay? And then we're gonna say, well, what's the sum of, let's say X3? Well, it can't do this because it's a factor. So we had all those commas in there. So we gotta now set it as character string. So now it's a character. So if we did class Y1, it would say character. Now we want to replace the commas, and we can see our variable here, this character string with commas in it. We want to replace the commas with blanks, with nothing. So there we go. And now we want to turn that to numeric. So now we have Y3, we have all these numbers, and then we can finally sum it up, okay? Now this took a lot of time to do and a lot of lines of code. So can we do that even simpler by taking this and substituting it into this one? Well, luckily I've done that here. So here we have our F name, our F name. We can put it into the read CSV file. The read CSV dollar sign X3. We can bring into the sum command. There we get our error where it's a factor. So now we wanna read it in and, and we can see that it reads in with all these commas in there. We need to now replace the commas with blanks, with nothing. So now, now they are still character strings. Now we need to convert that to numbers as numeric, use the as numeric function. And then we get a single line where we sum this all up. So these two things seem just about as long as each other. But when you go back and you say, well, this is the only line I'd need, then we get on to the final version, which is to say, Okay, I just need F name file, and then I just need this, and I can bring it in. Even if I get rid of everything in my console, so I have nothing there anymore, I have now have F name, and I get the sum. So you can do this in two lines where you had six or seven lines before, and even in this collapsing one. Okay, so that's how you combine uh, functions within functions.